Hello and welcome to this installment of AA Computers and Technology, where today we are going to be taking a look at this newer microphone kit. And as you can see, I've already taken everything out of the box and assembled it. And that's because I really didn't feel like making this video today. So I went ahead and set everything up for Software Sunday. But after I had my cup of coffee, you know, I sat down and I'm like, I feel like doing something right now. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and step forward with the overview. So that's exactly what I am going to do right now. Uh, what exactly are we going to be doing? Doing today well first I am going to unbox the newer microphone kit and as you can see it's already out here so I have to go back on my computer and do a voiceover of that because once again I didn't think I was gonna do the actual video today and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on each individual part we're gonna take an in-depth look at each individual part which means I have to completely disassemble this setup which I just set up so that's gonna be a pain in body I got everything the way I wanted it and now I'm gonna have to kind of take everything apart so we can take a look at everything I'll give you my thoughts, I'll give you close-ups and everything. I might even take the microphone apart if I can get it apart. Uh, so I'm going to try to go as in-depth as possible. Uh, I'm not an audio engineer, so some of the terminology is wrong here. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section because I think this is really the first time I've ever done an overview on audio equipment. So let's go ahead and get started. And by the way guys, this is pretty obvious, but if some of you couldn't tell, I am actually recording the audio through the condenser microphone right now. So it's going to my phantom power supply. This is a uh, Inogear Model I229. Pick this up off Amazon for 20 bucks. So it's going through the phantom power supply and into the camera. I tried to run it without phantom power because some of the reviews on Amazon said that this newer microphone would run without a phantom power supply, which seemed really weird to me. I didn't think that would work. Um, and I hooked it up to my laptop. I hooked it up to my camera. Whoa. And uh, it did not work without phantom power. So uh, for any of you guys who are actually wondering if you will need a phantom power supply, yes buy a phantom power supply. I'll actually uh, put the link in the description for this exact uh, phantom, uh, phantom power supply so you can go ahead and check it out on Amazon. I think this is the cheapest one on there right now. This is actually the cheapest one I could find. Couldn't even find anything cheaper on eBay. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check that out. You will need it. Okay, switching over to voiceover mode right now, and just for reference, we are not using the same microphone. This is a dynamic microphone that I use for recording on my computer. You can see the newer box in front of us right now. That's, that is how it came shipped. Um, nice big lettering on the uh, back as well. I'm gonna go ahead, grab a pair of scissors, and cut this thing open. And it's still a struggle. They have these weird uh, metal staples holding everything together. Uh, but it was packaged very nicely. I have no complaints about the packaging at all. I'm going to go ahead and pull that styrofoam piece out. It will slide right out. And I just realized I didn't mention that I pulled this off Amazon for $42. Link will be in the description. You can see the windscreen right there. I'm actually not using it because I, I think the foam cap is more useful for my application. Now I'm going to be walking around the microphone a lot, so it's easier to have something that's more directional. You can see the shock mount right there. Quality was just fine. I didn't open it up, but I will show you it in uh, more detail in just a couple seconds. There is the clamp for the stand. Nothing to see here. I don't know why I spent so much time on this. I'm just gonna rip it out of that bag. It's kind of awkward to take out, uh, but it doesn't feel too bad. Not flimsy at all. That's definitely gonna hold for a while. And there is the microphone stand itself. It's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. It looked a lot bigger in the picture, uh, but I'm still 100% satisfied with it. And it feels great. I have no issues with it. When I pulled it out of the box, quality was fine. Nothing, you know, none of the, the springs flew off or anything weird like that. So A-OK -okay there. There's the foam cap for the microphone. Just slides on the top of the condenser microphone. There's our 8-foot XLR to, I think that's 3.5 millimeter uh, audio cable right there. And that's why I used to hook it up to the camera. And here we go. This is the, uh, probably the main piece out of this. This is the newer microphone model NW700. And I'm just going to give you a 360 degree view around it. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything now. And now here comes the painful part for me. Let's go ahead and tear apart my setup and take a look at everything. 
Before I pull everything apart, I want to show you guys how the stand works while I still have uh, everything mounted and put together. Um, so it does not swivel unless you actually loosen the clamp. So you have to loosen this section to get it to uh, turn uh, right or left depending on what position you want it. But it will go, uh, I guess you would say, up and down without really having to do anything. It is spring loaded. Um, so as you can see, just push it down and it is very very smooth and it stays locked in place. It's awesome. I'll move it back up. I need to tighten that uh, the clamp a little bit more because it's wobbling around on my desk. But you could go all the way up to a uh, 90 degree angle here, like that. Or you can go uh, 180 degrees, completely straight. So you have a lot of mobility with this little stand. And if anyone's curious, I have that phantom power supply mounted right here next to the clamp. And I went ahead and just bought some Velcro off Amazon for like two bucks and just Velcroed it to the bottom of my desk. So if anything ever happens to this, I can easily replace it. Now let's start taking a look at everything by itself. I'm going to start with the easiest part to take a look at first because it's not really mounted to anything because as I said earlier, I did not use this pop filter using the uh, foam cap was a lot easier for me. Um, and first thoughts on the pop filter when I took it out, I actually have one pretty much identical to this. This one does feel a bit cheaper, uh, but it will still serve its purpose. Uh, the flex. Um, cable right here works just fine and it's gonna hold if you leave it in a certain position uh, The clamp. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. That also works just fine I tried mounting it to my dynamic microphone and had no issues with it um, So this I mean as far as quality is concerned This is probably an a minus because the plastic uh, around the uh, The screen right here does feel a bit cheap, uh, but besides that everything is fine I'm gonna go ahead and take the foam cap I'll have the microphone right there so we can take a look at that. I mean, that's like a three second thing. All you have to do is pull it off and here we go. As you can see, it's just the foam cap and it feels fine. I really don't know what else to say about it um, besides that. So now I'm gonna take the microphone out of the shock mount right there and we can take a closer look at that. And getting the microphone in and out of the shock mount is very easy. Just remove your XLR, uh, XLR cable. That was uh, weird. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Come on, cooperate with me here. And there's two little middle tabs right here. You're just going to push on those and the microphone will come right out. Now there's one small note that I would like to make right now, and that's the fact that the shock mount doesn't actually hold the whole body of the microphone, or at least I couldn't get it to. It only holds onto this small ring right here. So if you use enough force, it can fall out if you hit it hard enough, um, but really I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just a small note I want to make in the video. For the past hour, I've been playing around with this microphone, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with both the quality of its construction and the sound quality of this thing. It feels really nice in your hand, it has a nice weight to it. Uh, this bottom section right here is made out of some sort of metal, not really sure what. Uh, it feels like aluminum to me. And then up here, um, it's a pretty strong ABS plastic. The windscreen up here, I believe, is also some sort of metal as well. And we just pan around here, you can see the newer uh, logo model NW700. I want to make sure I get it right this time because I think in one of the last clips I said the wrong model number for some reason. Looking at the bottom, you can see the XLR connection right there. Let me get the camera in focus. There we go, finally gone focus. And in between this, uh, in this little gap right here, it's actually threaded. I think, I'm going to try to do this on camera, I think the microphone should just pull apart from the bottom. That or I'm going to completely destroy it. Let's see, it's unscrewing. Oh, and the whole body kind of just uh, comes apart here. That's weird. All right, nope, not going to do this on camera. I need to get off camera and figure out what the heck I just did. You know, I was doing it right. I just didn't uh, completely unscrew the end piece. So the thing was still being head to held together by a thread. I just had to unscrew it a little bit more. Um, but you can see the circuit board for the condenser microphone right now. Not much on this side. You can see two uh, small electrolytic capacitors. Not sure what brand this is. Um, yeah, I can't read that. That's too small. But these are 47 microfarad capacitors. And then on the back, you can see some surface mounted components. Um, nothing too special. I'm trying to take a look at the solder or solder work on this. 
and uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. So pretty impressed with the quality right here. And you can actually see a quality control stick or, uh, sticker right here. And I can't figure out how to get this top part open, so I'm not going to open uh, that up so you can see the actual um, the cardioid mechanism. Uh, so I'm going to throw this back together and we'll take a look at something else. And now I'm just going to spend a couple more seconds on each of the little pieces. You're looking at the shock mount right now, and as far as installing this onto the stand, when it was really easy, all you had to do is screw it into uh, the little threads right here, and it is ready to go. As far as reducing the shock goes, I mean, I, I can't really tell if it's doing anything. It looks like it is. It looks like a nice shock mount. Uh, and when I actually try to physically bend the thing, I get no bend at all. A very strong metal used here. I have no quality with the, or, or no problem with the quality of the shock mount. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the clamp over here. Once again, this feels fine as well. It hasn't come loose or anything like that. It is padded on the top right here, so it doesn't scratch the living daylight out of whatever surface you mount it to, but the bottom is not padded, so uh, it will probably leave a mark right here. If you wanna make sure it doesn't, you could probably put a piece of cardboard in between the, uh, that circular mount right here and your table. And same goes for the included XLR to 3.5 millimeter 8 foot cable. The insulation is thick and it does its job, so no problems here. All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. Once again, I am back on the microphone, so the audio you are hearing now is the audio from the microphone. I think I hit everything, um, but if I didn't, please post a comment in the comment section. So next time I review, or I guess this is more of an overview, next time I do an overview on a piece of audio equipment like this, I can hit all the points I should. Uh, for 42 bucks, this is a really great kit. I mean, I like it. It's great for what I'm doing. Uh, it's great if you're trying to get, you know, started in something like podcasting, or maybe you're just running a small YouTube channel like me and you need some better audio equipment. So for $42, you get a really nice condenser microphone. Uh, this arm right here, the shock mount, the uh, clamp, and that windscreen back there, the foam cap, the XLR to 3.5 millimeter uh, cable. It's eight feet long. I mean, I think this is a really great value, and the link will be in the description if you are interested in purchasing this entire newer microphone kit. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology. Do not forget to drop a comment. Don't forget to drop a like and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.